hey ladies welcome back to my channel so this is not one of my regular videos i'm just um warning you because this is crazy i'm basically reacting to one of the craziest videos i've seen like, i've seen some crazy stuff on the internet before but this this right here it just boils my blood and usually um I don't usually react emotionally emotionally to, to to videos that I see on the internet but this particular video is very triggering and I want to warn you ladies you know before you know brace yourself I'm going to show uh, the video that I saw on TikTok and then I'm gonna come back and share my thoughts so yes I'm just gonna jump right into it been talking for over a minute now so yeah let's just go straight into it important to be a follow body than a leader right okay i'm not a parent who likes to use physical discipline come here you gotta learn today girl no physical discipline mom don't mom me no you had your warning you had your chance i told you to listen i told you stop disobeying my rules i told you being cute ain't shit if you have no education I told you stop disobeying me. I told you to listen and do as you're supposed to. I told you to do good in school. I told you to do your daily routine and you yet to even do any of it. And you thought you were disobeying me today and I was not coming to cut this hair off. You're sadly mistaken because you thought being pretty was so much better than being educated or listening to your mom, right? Yes, this is what happens when you don't listen to your mom. All right, so you have seen that video there are follow-up videos that she made and i don't want to add them to this video because um i don't want to make this video long i just want to get on here and just say what i have to say and you know try to avoid um reacting emotionally to this to this video because i've seen a lot of people that reacted to this video i've even seen people cry and i've seen people i've even seen people share shared their trauma because this video is very triggering a lot of people have experienced trauma with growing up with a narcissistic parent and you know this video is specifically sorry this video is specifically triggering to those people and i feel for them so let me just let me just get into it and share my thoughts because i made some notes so that i can keep i can stay on track and not you know get you know caught up or emotional over this all right so as you can see by the video the, the woman decided that a good way to discipline her child is aggressively cutting her hair off that you can tell her that that woman is aggressive okay this woman is bitter again I, I do not know what this is maybe I need to make a series about bitter bitter middle-aged or bitter older women because I know that that's a thing People think it's a myth. It, it, it's a thing. Better women, older women, they, they do exist. And I'm an older woman. I'm, I am in my 40s. And I've, I've come across women like this when I was younger. And I still see some of these women today. And it's very sad and pathetic when you see this um, particular archetype. Okay? So, what I want to address first is why do narcissistic parents particularly narcissistic mothers cut their daughter's hair off and it's very simple a narcissistic mother is going to be jealous of her daughter okay clearly her daughter is pretty than prettier than her okay and i and i wish this woman is listening because what i want to say to you is that you are a trash parent you are a horrible person and you deserve to burn in hell anyways I, I, I don't want to get emotional, but <laughs> I couldn't help it. But anyways, back to the narcissistic parent. A narcissistic mother knows that, her, especially her teenage daughter, um, she knows that her, her, her hair and her beauty is important to her. And going after her beauty, like attacking her beauty, cutting all her hair off, is the ultimate punishment and she knows that she knows that it cuts deep because she really wanted to hurt this little girl she really really wanted to she really wanted this girl to feel the humiliation because not only did she cut her daughter hair off um as a form of punishment because her teenage daughter is not listening to her i mean come on 
haven't you been a teenager before this is what teenage girls do this is th these are teenagers they don't listen uh i there were many times i didn't do my homework i didn't have my hair chopped off for it the logic about her daughter not listening to her and not doing her homework or whatever it's it, it just it it completely goes over my head it doesn't make any sense all i see here is a bitter woman who is jealous of her daughter i see what i see here is a narcissistic mother because again the total lack of self-awareness for you to film this video telling her telling your daughter that you know being pretty and shit yet you sitting up there filming that video with a filter a beauty filter is the irony for me and it's the total lack of self-awareness because everybody knows that narcissists the narcissist lack self-awareness they think whatever they're doing they she, she think she doesn't think she did anything wrong she think that she's in the right she think that she's a good parent these are the same people that end up in nursing homes and they are in there for years nobody comes nobody comes to visit them during the holidays and they're sitting up in the nursing home wondering why nobody gives a shit about them these are the, the type of people that you that you find in a nursing home. Anytime you if you ever in, in work in a nursing home, type in the comments below if you have ever worked in a nursing home. The people in these nursing homes that don't have anybody visiting them are the ones that were horrible human beings to their children. Because you cannot sit here and argue to me and argue with me and tell me that, you know someone with children that living in a nursing home that is that is supposed to be a good person doesn't have any children visiting them i'm sorry i do not buy that my grandmother was 19 and my grandmother was 99 years old she was well loved and she didn't even stay in a nursing home she got to stay at home and family took care of her until the day she died this is this is what this is what you know should happen um, to someone who who becomes older especially someone with children my grandmother was surrounded by children um grandchildren etc when she died these people are sitting and rotting in the nursing home and wondering what they did wrong this these are the type of people like this woman is going to be in the nursing home when she gets older and her daughter is not going to come and visit her the punishment itself is it is physical she's like i don't like physical punishment but you physically assaulted your daughter and cut her hair off without her permission honestly people if you know who this woman is if you know these people please call child protection services because this young lady is damaged for life life she's damaged for life she's completely damaged and she is going to continue to carry out this cycle of abusive relationships because she's going to find men that are abusive she's going to have friendships that are abusive she's going to have bosses that are abusive and it's going to be normal for her because that's all she knows this video is probably going to get demonetized the cycle of abuse is not going to stop here it's going to continue until she finally wakes up and, and get the help that she needs and do the inner work a lot of people don't because they do not know how to process that trauma and a lot of people don't know that they're being abused because again it is normal for them okay um the mother's um lack of self-awareness is is not is no surprise to me because again it only a narcissist would actually film a video of herself humiliating her child and put it on the inter on the internet for likes and clicks only a narcissistic mother would do something like that um this is not up for debate for debate all right then the follow-up videos because i'm not i'm not gonna po post the follow-up videos in this video because this video i do not want this video to be long i keep saying that but it's getting longer um the, her follow-up videos uh leaves a lot to be desired because she did this whole stockholm syndrome routine with her daughter asking her daughter are you are you abused you know asking these silly questions th these silly questions that she know that her daughter is going to say no like because you know if you ask your victim if you are if they are abused and they are scared they are afraid of you because i mean look at that daughter's body language when she said mom and she's like don't mom me she froze she froze and she's in shock and the for the way she's reacting the way that that young lady is, is um reacting in or acting in the follow-up videos you can tell that the behavior is normal um and is i'm sure it's very common for her mother to go off on a narcissistic rage 
I'm sure it happens a lot. It happens very often. So she's used to this type of behavior. And I'm like, where is her father? See, this is... Uh, in one of the follow-up videos, she's like, do you, do you know I love you, right? Do you know I did this for love? Blah, blah, blah. Girl, you don't know you didn't. And then in one of the videos, she put on a wig on her daughter. And she's like, see, you mean, it's not like, it's not like the end of the world. Like she can put a wig on it. You put a wig on your daughter. It looked like a cheap synthetic wig. And, and the reason why you put that wig on your daughter and you posted those follow-up videos and you um, disable stitch and reaction and dis disable all your comments is because you're getting a lot of heat from the internet. You're getting a lot of heat from the internet because you did not expect this to happen because the narcissist doesn't have self-awareness they don't think they don't think well how are people going to react to this they think that if they are doing something everybody else understands them everybody you know they think everybody's going to be on their side because according to the narcissist they never do anything wrong they are always right and you know she according to her she's she's a good mom and she's trying to be a good parent <laughs> which she isn't so, you know, people that are saying that, you know, I hope you learn that, you know, you, what you're doing to your daughter is wrong. She's not going to learn. People, narcissists never learn. They will never, ever learn from their mistakes. Because in order for you to learn from your mistakes and make changes in your life, you, there needs to be some level of self-awareness. There is nothing, there's none of that here. Okay, the whole, everything in, in this, in, the, in that video is just crazy, crazy to me. The video, the follow-up videos are, are just as crazy. Again, people, humiliation, public humiliation is not how you discipline your children. It is not how you discipline your teenagers. But the narcissistic parent, at some point in, in, in their life, they will publicly humiliate their children it, it is what they do i've seen videos of people re replying to that video saying that you know their mother would cut their hair off in front of everyone and this is not unique to the black community because this happens in every culture a narcissistic mother will always go for her daughter here attack her beauty and her self-esteem actually drag your self-esteem down to down to the mud it's just to teach you a lesson but you know, it's it's more that it's more to it than that because they get pleasure, they get a sick pleasure in humiliating their their children, their daughters, and this is one of the reasons why um, I'm going to address you know the issue in the black community. This is one of the reasons why a lot of black men secretly hate their mothers because a lot of them most likely grew up with a narcissistic mother who was abusive. Because again, if you listen to all these men on the internet, um, and I'm not making excuses for them. I'm not absolving them of their behavior, okay? These people are unhealed. But if you listen to some of these men and the way they talk about women and you, you, you dig deeper and you find out that they had a very complicated, messed up relationship with their mother, that's the reason. That's part, one of the reasons why a lot of them do not like y'all. Because a lot of y'all are terrible, terrible mothers, terrible parents. This is a common thing with narcissistic mothers. Or bitter mothers because some of them are not really narcissists some of them are actually very bitter and jealous of their daughters one of the reasons why a woman would be jealous of her daughter is is because of the poor choices she made in the past she decided to get pregnant by a guy who abandoned her and you know the, her daughter is this constant reminder she was never able to secure um, um, a marriage or the relationship that she wanted and you know what some of some of these mothers would do if they have a son they will raise their son to be the the husband that they never had but because in this case there is no son you are stuck with your daughter and your daughter is growing up and be and is beautiful and prettier than you you see your daughter's competition because you are still on the market you are still trying to secure that relationship that you were unable to secure because of, um a healthy mother-daughter relationship the mother made the right choices she was a good husband, a good father for her child. She gets to watch her daughter grow up and she is the one that is guiding her daughter and helping her daughter out. She's the one supposed to be helping her daughter with her, with her beauty, with her self-esteem, um, teaching her about boys, etc. But she's not doing that. In this case, in the case where the mother is jealous of the daughter, she's not doing that because she was unable to secure that relationship with a man 
she feels abandoned she's jealous of her daughter because her daughter has a whole life ahead of her and she wish she can be as young as her daughter and start over a lot of these women are bitter and jealous of their daughters a lot of them so when you look at their life women that are bitter and jealous of their daughters when you look at their life and you look at the choices they make you can see why they were bitter because they were and they were never able to make peace with their bad choices they were unable to make peace <laughs> with their poor choices oh y'all i have to scream at my dog <laughs> but anyway let me just wrap this up because you know that's my dog reminding me to wrap this up because this video isn't supposed to be a long video but anyways um yeah guys this is a very disturbing um, video i do not like that trend where these terrible mothers are on the internet humiliating their daughters because every time i see a video like this it's always a mother and daughter situation i i i, I don't think i've ever seen it with a mother and son because again these these toxic mothers they really really hate their daughters they despise their daughters for whatever reason and love their sons these are the same women that will kick their daughter out at the age of 15 and have their 35 year old son laying on the couch and not contributing anything to the house and we all know mothers like this so please let's not deny it like i'm really i'm not even sure if i'm going to upload this video to be honest because this is not the type of content that i usually post okay and in conclusion ladies this is why hypergamy is important this is why inner work is important if you do not heal that trauma and if you have if you have had a mother like this you have to work on that trauma girl you have to because honestly like if i had a mother like this i wouldn't have a relationship with that with that person i am not going to have a relationship with my abuser i'm not going to do that yeah the, the, the video is really sad it's very upsetting it really boils my blood it, and i can see why people are reacting the way they are reacting to it because people are really reacting emotionally to it because a lot of people they they are triggered by the video because it brings up memory of you know past trauma which you know which is really um you know it's really sad fortunately i've never had a situation where my hair was cut off but i remember i was i spent time with a narcissistic stepmother and you know thankfully i was taken away from her i think i spent two years with that woman and it was th the most difficult two years of my life because i feel like if i was her actual daughter the abuse would have been worse because I'm telling you I've seen how she treated her own daughter her own daughters that came out of her I saw how she treated them and it was worse than how she treated me and I thought my treatment was pretty bad they really hate their daughters okay jealous of their hair jealous of their beauty jealous of their youth it's embarrassing it's embarrassing like these women are so bitter walking around thinking that this is cute this is not cute she posted that video for likes she knew exactly what she was doing she thought she, she she thought she would have gotten a pat on the back and she thought she would have gotten congratulations for being a good mother like girl come on anyways time to wrap this video up let me know what you think in the comments ladies um thank you for watching and if you would like me to react to a video um, send me a DM on Instagram, send me the video on Instagram and I'll react to the video. But for now, that's all I have to say and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!